What's going on everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk. Now regarding this Ahmad Arbery case, I did a video yesterday. You know, anyone who's following this case, I uh, covered a lot on that video. So I will pin that video in the comments here. So after you watch this video, please go check that video out. As I said, I went over a lot of information and a lot of stuff on that video. Now, um, something that's being discussed in this case um, is the additional footage of the construction site, which I did include in that video as well. Now, this uh, footage is like three seconds long. It's three seconds long. And, um, you know, bottom line, no matter what, there's nothing that's justifying what these guys did. You know, these guys were out of their minds and um, there's no justifying it. These guys need to pay. And like I said, I really, um, you know, I'm not going to go back all over everything as I already did in the other video. You know, um, it gets me going. It gets me upset thinking about this, that, you know, these guys are are looking to justify this and everything. But um, I want to roll uh, the guy who's I'm going to roll some footage for you. This is the guy who's um, Larry English is his name. And he is uh, who owns the construction site, you know, where that second additional video took place. And, you know, he just spoke out to the media. He's got a lot to say. I want to share it with you guys. I'll be right back to break some stuff down. Construction site that same day. Could you call this trespassing? Yeah. Could you call it justification for what the accused did, the McMichaels? I don't know how. As far as the video goes, uh, I don't want it to be put out and misused and misinterpreted for people to think that I had uh, accused of Mr. Arbery of stealing or robbery because I never did. You never filed any report. You never called 911 about this video. The video of February 23rd, I made no calls. Do you believe that uh, Arbery stole anything from your house that day? No, whatsoever. Um, now, the McMichaels told police in the police report here that he had been seen, Arbery, had been seen um, on surveillance video. Did you share this video with the McMichaels? No, not whatsoever. Did they know of any past incidents at your construction site? I'm not, uh, I'm not sure about that. Nothing you told them about? No. Were you aware of any string of burglaries that they say were going on in that neighborhood? Because we can't find police records of any string of burglaries in the neighborhood. I was. And what did you know about what was going on in the neighborhood? I only knew of second-hand information that maybe somewhere in the neighborhood of January that a vehicle had been entered and some guns taken out of it. Are you aware that it was the McMichaels who filed that report? No. That's what uh, police records show according uh, to our reporting on this, uh, that they had reported it. Um, do you have any relationship with the McMichaels? Do you have any feel for these gentlemen? No. Uh, have you reported in the past things that happened at your construction site? I have. What kinds of things have happened and who do you think did it? Uh, the only thing that happened was uh, my cameras would notify me. I would be two hours away. And my cameras might would notify me and let me know somebody was on the property. And what have you seen? on your property before how common is it for people to enter the site mm, not very i mean not very common at all um in the daytime didn't have very, very much traffic other than subcontractors and people working there um and that would have been about it 
and uh, didn't you report though that you believe something had been taken from the house but you couldn't identify who did it no so that's you... a false accusation oh good good to know thank you very much so you never reported anything about any fishing equipment or anything like that uh the instance with the fishing equipment has got blown out of proportion that was out of a boat not out of the structure um and i'm not exactly sure when or where that happened it, the boat was transported from brunswick to our location to where we live two hours away and i never filed a report on that because i don't know for sure exactly where it happened boy you're right that is getting thrown all over the place as a potential other situation that arbory may have been involved in and just to be clear you never ever filed it you've never accused him and you don't have any reason to believe that Ahmad Arbery had anything to do with that. All right, so you guys hear that interview there once again. That's Larry English, the property owner, you know, where the construction site was, um, where the second video, the additional footage uh, came from. And, you know, you hear what he said in the interview. He basically wants it to be known. He did not turn this footage over. He wants the world to know it was not turned over to try to justify what uh these whack jobs did what the mcmichaels did you know um he was simply cooperating with uh law enforcement with the investigation and um you know uh you heard all the questions they asked him uh, was anything ever stolen from your house uh before no what happened with these fishing poles he in his words that thing's being blown out of proportion he doesn't even know where that happened. It was stolen out of a boat that was transported hours. So he never even reported it because he did not know where that took place. And, um, you know, you, something else that was interesting there is, um, you know, basically we can tell there there seems to be an attempt going on to put out a narrative that Ahmad Arbery was responsible for a lot of crimes that were going on within the neighborhood. You know, that this picture is trying to be painted that this guy, you know, these these psychopaths were just crime stoppers trying to keep the neighborhood safe you know and stop it from from this guy from this string of uh you know crimes and the the uh, guns that that they were speaking of that were stolen from a car or something like that it was interesting that larry english said he basically heard the the information you know through hearsay second hand or third hand is how the information came to him but the media did digging and was not able to find police reports, you know, to match, you know, the description of of that crime that went on. You know what I mean? So just goes to show you, I mean, it's it's an open and shut case, in my opinion. Um, these I, I just don't understand how anyone can think, you know, that these guys don't need to go to jail. And, you know, as I stated already, I want everyone to go watch my previous video. But um. You know, one thing that I will say that ties in with that is uh, they're, them being convicted, you know, needs to set a precedent, you know, because a lot of people who get all charged up and like to play police when they're not police see people do things like that and get away with it. You know what I mean? This will make people think twice about taking the law in their own hands, you know like this to this extent like this is just ludicrous what these guys did you know and, and committed a bunch of crimes while they were doing it i'm sure they were driving all over the place like psychopaths trying to chase this guy down that's reckless endangerment holding someone at gunpoint is a, a bunch of different crimes went on you know what i mean um it's clear to me that there's a narrative being pushed to try to put dirt on Ahmad Arbery's name but you know Larry English is speaking out and saying that's not the case you know what I mean um like there's nothing wrong with someone trying to confront uh, a situation that's going on you know or or uh, even do a citizen's arrest or something you know what I mean but that's just simply not the way you do it so you know I wanted to share this information and as always on my platform you know hear what everyone's got to say so make sure to join the discussion i'm curious to know you know what you guys uh think if if they will be convicted or not you know like if these guys walk 
th this is just this will be a horrible injustice you know what i mean um these guys went out and hunted a human being it's it's sick it's twisted you know and um you heard what the you know the interviewer said he said the only crime that could have been committed you know or that was committed and uh, the property owner wasn't pressing the charges was trespassing as i've already stated in my previous videos you call the police you make a police report you know what i mean like this the, this kind of stuff has gone on long enough where people get all aggressive and go out and hurt someone and then say oh well they did this this that like you know nah man these guys gotta go down so join the discussion let me know your thoughts on this in the comments i'm really hoping uh you know jay-z this special prosecutor that he's trying to bring in you know to make sure that this case goes the way it should i hope that that uh, happens i'll be updating you know you guys on the happenings with this case so subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell more importantly join the discussion jay coffee talk covering music sports news current events life and much much more i'll catch you guys on the next video i'm out of here peace